Getting tuckered out, Dickie? Oh, no, ma'am. Just the dumb chicken dump down here. <laughs> a little sage stick, I guess. Well, when we stop, I'll leave you right up front with Red. Gosh, gee, thanks. <laughs> Joe. Hiya, Red. Any company mail for Elkhorn? And there isn't much company either. Since the bottom fell out of silver, just me and those keys. About all the good they're for is to telegraph me from Pueblo when they're ready to say I'm fired. Hey, it appears like you're riding kind of light this trip, Red. Yeah, just the Duchess and one paying passenger. You don't mean him? Yep. You don't have anybody to travel with him, Joe. His father and mother were killed in some kind of an accident. They're shipping him to a relative in Denver he's never even seen before. Oh, that's kind of a hard knock for a kid. It'd be a lot harder if he was old enough to understand. All he's been told is his father and mother went away on a long trip. Well, I better get that stage rolling again. This is once I mustn't be late getting to Alcorn. Might hold up their big celebration. <laughs> Duchess, I'm delighted to see you. And you too, Red. I was particularly anxious to have you christen my new stage line with the best champagne Elkhorn could afford. Gosh <laughs> almighty, Bill, carrying on like that, you're letting yourself in for a lot of overhead. <laughs> <laughs> you will have your little joke. Right. There we are. Well, here's what we have to say goodbye, Dickie. Gosh, Mr. Ryder. I... There, there, fella. Your Aunt May will be there and everything will be just fine. Come on, give me a smile. Attaboy. Here's a passenger for you, Bill. Where's these folks? Well, they couldn't very well come along. Now, wait a minute, Red. What does Downgrade know about taking care of a lad like this? There's no one else going except the commissioner here. Well, if that's all you're worried about, forget it. I think the boy and I can get along all right. Come here, son. Now, come on, Dickie. Friends, fellow citizens of Elkhorn, the moment has arrived that you and I have long been waiting for. A stagecoach to Denver. You all know the Duchess here. Her stage line serves Elkhorn to all points south. And now I have the privilege of giving Elkhorn a line that will connect us with the north, straight through to Denver. The Duchess is going to christen the first stage out with a bottle of real champagne. All right, Duchess, right there on that hub. Yippee downgrade, throw off the brake and leave them horses run. Found it still in Ryder's stage after you left. My best to Denver. So long, Duke.
mighty broad mind of you, Duchess, helping a competitor to such an auspicious occasion. Competitor, my foot. I'll still be running stage lines when you're dead and gone, Bill Lambert. Something must have happened to your stage, Big Bill. I found these horses running wild and still hitched to the wagon tongue. Where'd you find them? Up in the hill, my dogwood creek, and clean away from any road. Near as I can figure out, the stage must have run off the grade. Red, do you think that? Good heavens, Dicky. See that our horses are unhitched and put back in the stable. Yeah. Well, this is no time to stand around and guess. Come on! Quick! He's still alive. Well, sir, that beats all tarnation how two grown fellas could be killed dead and a little shaver like him could pull through. We better get him to town as fast as we can. Well, why not take him over to my place? That's only about half as far. Then somebody could ride for the doc. They'd get there just as soon as us. Me go. Me tell Duchess. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy. What is it, Dickie? Is there anything I can do for you? Mr. Ryder, is you? It sure is, Dickie. Please don't go away, Mr. Ryder. Not on your life. I'm going to stay right here with you. and lower body are paralyzed from here down. That means a back injury. You tell it be cured, perhaps, but it'll take a very delicate spinal operation. Do you know the address of his aunt in Denver? Uh, yes, but why? The decision to operate has to be made by his nearest relative. You'd better send for her right away. But that'll take time. There's no telegraph line in Elkhorn. Well, the thing to do is for me to ride to the Pioneer Mine. I'll get Joe to telegraph his company in Pueblo. And I'll ride along as far as town with you. There's nothing more I can do here tonight. I don't like it, Bill. The Van Commissioner's death in that stagecoach wreck well, wasn't an accident. He was murdered. You've only made matters worse. Now, this time, you're really playing with fire. Now, why didn't you... Now, let me tell you something, my fine friend. If Felton had reached Denver, it would have been a lot worse than playing with fire. You'd have done a stretch behind bars. What do you mean, I'd do a stretch? land is still being held in your name, remember? Yes, only I'm only holding it for you. You made sure of that when you made me sign a mortgage ahead of time. You can take it over whenever you want. That, my dear fellow, makes me an innocent victim. How was I to know you acquired the property by fraud? Now, listen to me, Bill. You're not going to leave me holding the bag. Now, be yourself, Braden. Felton didn't reach Denver, but his report will after I've doctored it up a bit. You can't get away with it. A dead commissioner wouldn't mail any report. News travels slow out of here, and I can make it happen two weeks from now as easy as not. Maybe so. What do you so. think I own a stage line for if I didn't want to control communication between here and Denver? Uh, here's the doc now. Him and Ryder's coming in together. Better ask him how the kid is. Hey, doc. How'd you find the young one? Pretty bad. Ryder's telegraphing the boy's aunt to come on from Denver. Telegraphing? How does he plan to do that, Doc? Well, he claims a fellow at the old silver mine can reach Pueblo over their private line. Then they can relay the message. Duke, come here. They get a message through to Denver, we're in for it. Get Blackie in there and overtake Ryder. Stop him the best way you know how. He's got quite a head start. Then use cutoffs, anything. Only don't let them get a message on the wire.
go. Get on that key. Send a message to your Pueblo office as fast as you can. Tell them to get a message through the Denver as quick as possible. Yeah, I'm ready to shoot. What's it all about? Don't worry about that. Get going. Okay, what do you want to say? Tell them to get in touch with May Barnes in Denver right away. She's got to take the first stage to Elkhorn. The little nephew was injured. It might be a matter of life or death. Hey, Ed. Start climbing that pole and cut them wires. Wounded, Blackie. Keep us covered till I get him to his horse. Then we'll all get out of here. Well, I don't know what this is all about, but they're gone. By the way. You better tell them the land commissioner was killed, in case they want to send somebody out to take his place. And you're sure you wouldn't be able to recognize any of them if you saw them again? No, it was too dark, Bill. Besides, they stayed too far away for me to see very plain. That's what I've been telling him. Maybe it was a mistake all around. Well, the way it looks to me, somebody didn't want Dickie's aunt May to receive any telegram. That's it, Bill. Maybe this Dickie Ray's folks left him some property that somebody wanted to get their hands on. Somebody wanted the kid out of the way, and when he didn't die, first off... Well, anyway, Ryder, that could explain everything. Yes, it might. Except as far as I know, the boys' folks didn't have any property to leave. No, I have an idea we have to look deeper than that for our answer. Anyhow, when folks start shooting at me, I don't run out. I find out who and why. That's what I aim to do. Well? You don't need to worry about being identified. He didn't recognize you. Well, what about the telegram he sent? Nothing serious. We won't be able to doctor up the reports. He did mention about the commissioner being dead. I knew it. I knew that. Now, wait a minute, Braden. A man can always change plans if he's smart enough. The worst they can do is send out a new commissioner from Denver. Unfortunately, the boy's aunt may be on the same stage, but uh, that doesn't offer any problem. is out ahead, but there's nothing to worry about. There's a fair to Midland side road in the town. I'll water the horses while we stop. Can you tell me what time it is, Mr. Taylor? One fifteen. Then we should reach Elkhorn before dark? You know, people sometimes become overly concerned when child is injured, Miss Barnes. You and us, you may not be really as bad off as they thought at first. That's what I'm trying to make myself think. You'll be all right. You better ditch those smokes, beautiful, before we get to Elkhorn. You watch your own step, Wally. I'll take care of mine. This is where we lose that stage ahead. These things come in handy sometimes. Give me a light.
Howdy, ma'am. Ma'am, I suspect you're Dickie Barnes' Aunt May. Oh, yes. How is the poor boy? There hasn't been much change, one way or the other. I beg your pardon. Can you tell me where I'll find the land commissioner's office? There isn't a land commissioner anymore. He got killed. Yes, I know. The land office sent me over to take his place. Name's Taylor. Mr. Taylor, my name's Lambert. It's a real pleasure to welcome you to Elkhorn. Our previous commissioner shared all the space with the sheriff, so if you'll come with me, I'll be glad to show you where it is. Miss Barnes, do you have any baggage? Oh, yes, a few pieces. Well, I'll get the buckboard. As soon as I transfer your bags, we can start. All right. I told Blackie to bring him a sample of Taylor's handwriting. That's all a fellow needs. It's done time for forgery, eh, Wally? <laughs> now, the idea is, boy... Well, beautiful, what are you doing here? You're supposed to stick with Ryder. Well, he ran out on me to get his buckboard. What's the lowdown, Bill? What's some brat's aunt got to do with you? Nothing. But a new land commissioner has. Wasn't any fault of mine. The commissioner and this brat's aunt happened to leave Denver on the same stage, and since both were expected here, both had to be accounted for. Oh, now, wait a minute. I'm not getting mixed up with anything like murder. What have you done with her? Now, don't get excited. She's being well taken care of. We've got her hid out in the hills in a shack. Now, you better get back on the job. All right. Oh, what about the kid? Can't you give me any more dope on him? You don't have to worry about the kid, but just watch your step when Ryder's around. He's nobody's fool. Who? Oh, that long-legged geezer? Guys like him are cinched down. I've been cramped up so long, I had to get the kinks out of my legs. I guess it is a mite uncomfortable traveling in a coach all day. Well, I guess we're all set. The doc is already out there with Dickie. As far as the reports on the Braden land is concerned, all they need is Taylor's signature. I've got the new reports all ready to sign. Hey, what do I do, go fishing? No, no. Your coming here opens up a lot of possibilities. For instance, we could use a new survey. The present one doesn't give Braden as much land as it might. I'll show you what I mean. Now, according to the present survey, Braden's holdings stop here. Now, you could order a new survey and move this section line back maybe this far, and Braden's holdings would have to move right along with it. Sure, that's a good idea. I only knew what you were talking about. Well, it's simple. You may have to start back here 10 miles and pair a little off of each section, but uh, there's really nothing to it. <laughs> well, well, how do you do? I only know you as Aunt May, but I'm darn tickled to meet you. <laughs> I don't know how long you're going to stay here, but just as long as you stay, the place is yours. Uh, oh, excuse me. The doctor's on the inside, Red. So you and her had better scoot on along. I'll unload the rig, and then I'll fetch all the stuff around to the back bedroom for you. <laughs> this is the Duchess and Doc Kimball. They've been looking after Dickie. He, he's awfully little, isn't he? He sure is. It doesn't seem right. You mean... Well, he, he isn't really apt to die, is he? His back is broken. Broken? But apparently only enough to put pressure on the spinal cord. The only way to remove that is to operate. Then why haven't you? I thought you understood. He may not be strong enough to survive it. And under the circumstances, I couldn't assume the responsibility without your consent. My consent will buy mine. You're his next of kin, aren't you? Why, yes, I suppose so, but... Now, wait a minute. I'm not going to be held responsible if that boy dies. Why didn't somebody tell me about this before I left Denver? I'm well, sorry, ma'am, but that was the intention of the wire I sent. Joe or somebody must have messed it up. Well, yes, yes, that must be it. Well, what would happen if I don't give my consent? He'll never be able to walk again. Or will he live? Well, he may, if he wants to live under such a handicap. Being a wheelchair patient all <laughs> one's life, I... Mr. Ryder? Hello, Dickie. How do you feel? Uh, guess what? Your Auntie May is here. 
Yes, she is. Gosh, did, did you ask her? Well, no, I, I thought I'd let you. I'm glad to meet you, Dickie. How you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, look, would you do a birthday favor? Now, shoot five, what is it? Please, you leave me have a horse. Please, if you please. Why, I, I guess so. I told him I'd buy him one if it was all right with you. As big as little beaver, and and he'll learn me how to ride. He's my legs is able. Do you want to ride that much, Dickie? Gosh, yes. Gee, will you please? All right, you can have your horse. Somebody, please take this lamp quick. What is it? What's the matter? Oh, I, I just can't take it. I, I'm yellow, I guess. I'm going to my room. Well, of all the city five softies. Well, leave her alone. Let her go to bed and get some sleep if she can. First time I saw an operation, I fainted dead away. In the morning when you call her, we may have some idea how this is going to turn out. Stop it. If you want to blow off steam, come on inside. Certainly, madam. Your nephew was hurt on my stage, and it's my responsibility to do everything I can. So please come in and talk it over, won't you? Stop acting like a prima donna, or I'll slap you good. The next time you pull a fast one, don't pick on me. Of all the oh, dirty... Do don't, Bill, you're hurting me. And behave yourself. Now, what are you beating about? You know darn well what I'm beating about. Why don't you tell me whether I'd have to decide to operate on that kid? Put me on the spot when the doctor didn't have the guts to... Now, wait a minute. Ryder didn't tell me that's what he wanted you for, but what's the difference? If I were you, I'd just toss a coin. I don't have to. I told him to go ahead. I told him it. Well, they, they went ahead. Can't you see, Bill, if that kid dies, I did it. Stop it, stop it. If that kid dies, I murdered him. But I won't know it. I don't want to know it, because I'm getting out of here. Well, be yourself. Now, what did Ryder say when you told him you were pulling out? I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him. Little but... fool, you can't do that. They'll start searching the whole countryside for you. Everybody will be around. It'll blow the lid off the thing. I don't care. I but don't... I care. Uh, you might want to spend some time in a jail cell, but I don't. Now, listen to me, lame brain. The only place you're going is straight back to Coonskin's ranch. I'm not going back. I'm not. Still touch and go, but his pulse is a little stronger. Maybe you'd better call his aunt. Me get her. I reckon I'd better get some breakfast. Wake him up! She catch him sleepyhead. Maybe she know that. Well, I'll see. Is it all over? He's coming, too. It's going to be a long, hard pull. That's all I can say right now.
That's what I've been waiting for. His legs are coming back. Do you hear that, Dizzy? Your legs are getting well. How long do you expect it'll be before he's able to walk again? Well, that all depends. If his back continues to heal without any new complications, it won't be very long. Sheriff and men's outside. They say he wants to see Coonskin. Sheriff wants to see me? So what have I done? I wonder what the sheriff wants to see me for. Now, you look at here, Sheriff. Any doe I killed was accidental homicide. You see, my eyesight ain't so good no more. And I just can't tell whether uh, a deer has horns or don't. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe they're good enough to read this. Oh, sure, let's see that. No, them words blur all over the paper. Uh, what does that say? Oh, it's just a greetings from the district court, telling you to get off Silas Braden's land. Well, gosh almighty, you don't have to give me a paper to tell me that. <laughs> Why, I'd walk around a mile to stay off of that skunk's place. You're on it right now, Coonskin. According to the records, you're located on the northeast corner of Section 5. This here is Section 6. It ain't neither. I hired a feller to survey that myself. Ah, come on, it's only about 100 yards. I'll show you where the section corner is. Come on, I'll walk. Oh, you. that section corner ain't worth a continental. Never was official. But this new land survey, ordered legal by the land commissioner, is. Now, if you want to know where the genuine section corner is, it's about a quarter mile up in those rocks and hills. So's your place. Why, you bloated up pollywog! You better hold I... your tongue, Coonskin. Braden's given you ten days to get off. You can't show me a law in any law book that says you can dispossess a man on ten days' notice. I ain't gonna show you nothing. Besides, this ain't none of your business, Ryder. It's a lot of my business. There's an awfully sick boy inside that house. Any unlawful attempt... What do you mean, unlawful? Do you see that badge? That's the law around here. Anybody don't get off, Coonskin, is gonna get moved off. can be put up and folks run off the land they've always thought was theirs. We know how you've always stood for law and order, Bill, and we've stood for it with you. But if this doesn't stop, there's only one thing we can do. Organize and fight back. I realize how you boys feel, Matt, but I can't advise you to start trouble with a legally elected sheriff. It was our votes that elected him. We believed in him, Bill, the same as you did. But he sold out to Braden. And if he forces us to a showdown, he'll find out that we've got just as many guns as votes. Wait a minute, Matt. Suppose you give me a try at Braden. I think I'm as big in this valley as he is, and I intend to see that everybody gets a square deal. Understand, gentlemen, if the law is actually on his side, there's nothing I can do. But I can make him lay off until I find out, fair enough? We'll take a chance on that. All right, if Braden or anyone else continues to molest you, just let me know. Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's a country doctor's limitations, but I can't explain why your nephew should have taken this sudden turn for the West. Well, there must be something you can do. He's awfully sick. Well, I'll keep trying. Anyway, I'll get to him as quickly as I can. I thought I told you to stay away from here. I had to come, Bill. The kid's worse. Well, then get a doctor. Don't come to me. I did. He's on his way out there now. But he's gone as far as he can. He said so himself. We got to get somebody else. A, a specialist like Dr. Cooper. Who's he? Well, in Denver, they say he's awfully good with kids. I don't know how much it'll cost, but you've got to bring him here. Are you out of your mind? Suppose he knew Taylor. Suppose he knew the kid's real aunt. He could land us all in jail. Now get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. But I'll start yelling my head off. What do you mean? It won't do any good to get rough this time, Bill. 
If I start squawking, it won't take a doctor from Denver to put you where you belong. Oh, you silly little fool. Don't you know you're into this up your neck yourself? I'm not bluffing. All I care about is saving that kid's life. Yeah, I suppose so. All right. If that's the way it is, that's the way it's got to be. But I'll have to keep you and Wally undercover for a few days. Maybe, uh... You know, beautiful, you've been wanting to get out of here, and right now's the time to do it. You cook up some sort of an excuse, it'll call you back home, and I'll get your doctor. Uh, nothing doing. Staying right here until you deliver Dr. Cooper. And enough longer to make sure he's not a phony, too. <laughs> You're one gal I've never been able to put anything over on. But believe it or not, this time I wasn't even trying to. You'll get your doctor just as quick as I can get him here. Now, let me handle things, and you'll be a good girl and run along, huh? Keep going straight ahead, little beaver, and keep your eye peeled for any survey stakes. Of course, pacing isn't as accurate as measuring with a chain. But it's accurate enough to tell me this section is short just like the rest. The whole survey's been jimmied up. How do you suspect anybody made a mistake like that? I don't suspect it is a mistake, Coonskin. Maybe the smash-up that killed the previous commissioner wasn't either. Looks to me like the idea was to get somebody else who take orders. Come on, little beaver. I'm going to see what's going on. Are you all right, Miss Barnes? Well, I, I guess so. Oh, Miss Barnes. Miss Barnes. You still hurt, Dickie? Up here. 
I don't understand. There seems to be no indication of infection, but... Here come Red. Him drive in with Aunt May. What matter, Red? Somebody took several pot shots at Aunt May. None of them hit the mark, but she almost wrecked the buckboard trying to get away. Why on earth would anybody want to shoot her for? Well, that's what I've been asking myself. I can't find a satisfactory answer. Were you acquainted with this here fellow that calls himself a land commissioner before meeting him on the stagecoach? Why, no. But what difference could that make? Well, just thinking. Both you and he came from Denver. I have a notion there's a lot about him some folks wouldn't want to have told. How's Dickie? Well, hello there, Red. <laughs> I sure am glad to see you're back. See, I read over to Matt Dishes to tell him how you found them sections to aid short. And he said Big Bill was handling the whole situation for us ranchers. Maybe you better ride in and explain to Big Bill how this crooked land commissioner is trying to pull a fashion on it. All right. I was going in town anyway. Oh, please wait. You mustn't. This time they'll make sure. Who makes sure of what? Well, I don't know. Only I'm afraid if you go into town now, you won't come back alive. Now, don't worry. I've gone into a lot of towns where I wasn't exactly welcome. Oh, but don't you see there'll be trouble? I just know it. Oh, please don't go. Now, don't you worry. You're just upset because of what happened today. I can take care of myself, all right. The idea was to shrink this side of Section 6 so Braden could stretch out on the other. You must be mistaken, Red. No land commissioner would be a party to a deal like that. It doesn't seem so, unless maybe he isn't a real land commissioner. I had a talk with him this afternoon, and he doesn't seem to know much about his business. But he has credentials. I saw them myself. Maybe they're not his credentials. Could be they belong to somebody else. But he'd have to dispose of the other fellow before he can make use of them. Not a chance. He'd been spotted when he left Denver. Then he made the switch after he left. Impossible. The driver would have known. That's right, and so would the other passenger. Tell me, Bill, who tried to kill Dickie's Aunt May this afternoon? What are you talking about? I didn't know anybody had. Why did she come here to see you today? See me? <laughs> I don't even know the woman. That seems mighty funny. Because I'd have sworn this is her purse. Out with it, Bill. Who is she? What did you do with the boy's real aunt? stage line to get rid of people who might get in your way. That's what happened to Dickie Barnes' aunt. Arrest this man, Sheriff. He tried to kill Blackie Grubb this afternoon. Charge him with attempted murder. All right, take him away. No sense worrying about Red. So if I was you, I'd go to bed. But, Duchess, I'm not sleepy. I'd only lie awake. All right, then. If you're going to stay up, I'll hit the hay. Just call me if you need me. right out and see how your nephew is. Where is everybody? Are they going to bed? What do you want? Where's Ryder? What have you done with him? <laughs> Nothing. The last report is he's in jail. Unless, of course, he's tried to escape. 
Oh, so that's what you've planned. In that case, the sheriff couldn't afford to take any chances of charges manslaughter. Bill, that's a lie, and you know it. He told a big story about shooting a man because he tried to shoot you. But of course, you know that isn't true. And you know it is. Listen, beautiful. This afternoon, you said you weren't bluffing. I think you know by now that I'm not either. You wanted to get out of here, all right? I'm going to give you your wish. The stage will pick you up tomorrow on the road, and you... Is that you, Red? Uh, no, Duchess. It's Mr. Lambert. He said that Mr. Ryder had been detained in town as a material witness. I tell you, Duke, she's gone batty over this kid, and getting to Denver is just exactly what she wants. If she likes the kid, what's she want to go to Denver for? She wants to get this doctor she's been raving about, and the first thing she'd do is send him back here with an escort of state police. <laughs> she's not smart enough to catch me up like that. Why, that jumped up swivel here, you blue belly crook. You gotta go over and put him in his place, Bill. Me you know who's running this gall darn basin. Why, the loud. Now, wait a minute, Coonskin. Just who are you talking about? That six toed sheriff, that's who. I was just over to his place to explain that I needed a word with Red Ryder. And he well nigh grabbed me by the seat of the britches and flung me out of his office. I think I can get a message through to him if it's important. Important? Why, it's disastrous. First off, Dickie's aunt has disappeared. Sudden and complete. Disappeared? How? Well, just skipped out. Didn't even say goodbye. I reckon being shot at yesterday must have scared her plumb out of her wits. But even so, where could she have gone? I don't know. I don't know nothing. He sat and left Dickie's sicker. And the doc says that he's got to be rushed to Denver on the first stage. Duchess, I had the driver pull down the blinds to protect the boy from any draft. And don't you worry about the sheriff not letting you see Ryder. I can handle things, and I'll have him out of jail before night. I know you will, Bill. You've always been a good friend. There you are. Now, lots of luck to you and the boy both, Duchess, and have a nice trip. All right, Duke, on your way. Ah! Ah! You'll have to ride up front with me. We got unexpected passengers in back. It's a little crowded. starts tomorrow, we'll let him have it. We head for Coonskin Branch. Let's get our horses. Coonskin! Coonskin! Tell the Duchess I've got to hide out. Well, the Duchess ain't here. Why, she took Dickie on the stage in Denver. The stage? Yeah. What's the matter, Ray? 
But we've got to get the Duchess off that stage. They'll never let her get to Denver alive. Saddle up and follow me out the Denver road as fast as you can. If you can find any help, fetch them along. Why, sure. Come on, Beaver. Search the house. I'll go around covering back. Well, Bill, seems though you just got here in the nick of time. <laughs> the Ray Red talks he's going to need your help for plenty. That's so? Where is he? Well, sir, it's as puzzling as all get out. It seems as though somebody is laying for the Duchess Twitch here in Denver. So, Red, he... Sheriff, hurry up. We've got to get Red before he catches the stage. Come on, Beaver. Duke, no. What are you doing? You saw the sign, didn't you? Yes, and I saw it before. Who is it this time? Who's in the back? my fault. I should have told you right at the beginning. Sure, I know. You would have, but they scared you off. Here, load this gun. cabin first. Then I'll tell you all about it. Let me have him. Give him to me. I can carry him. Careful. So as I can give him a hand, see? Yeah, I'll, I'll bundle yeah. him in that shack oh, there. All right, all right. It's no use. I'm afraid she's done for. Well, guys, all hemlock and sprouting jumping beans. Well, here. You lay right here, Dickie boy. There. Well, of all the dirty tricks to play on a woman. Anyhow, that's as near as I can come to piecing the story together. 
I guess folks and horses are a lot alike. And it all depends on how their saddle broke, whether the good or bad crops out. But the thing that counts most ought to be how they finish the race. That heap's good. Maybe pretty soon you do war dance. You want a big surprise? What is it? Well, close your eyes. Keep them close. Now, open them eyes. There's the horse I promised to buy you, Dickie. Gee, gee, where's Uncle Red?